Hi there, this is my first video I'm sharing uh, with everyone. My name is Amy and I have decided to make a big change in my life. I have been overweight for years since I was, uh, well actually I feel like my whole life, but um, I started gaining weight probably when I was in my, um, probably around eight, nine is when I started putting on weight and then I really started getting heavier in my later teen, early twenties. Um, I needed to make a change. I decided that enough was enough. I was at my highest weight um, about six months ago. I was at 466 pounds. I was depressed. I didn't love to do the things that I love to do anymore. I just, I felt extremely trapped in my body and food had just taken a complete control of my life. So I decided I had to do something different. You know, I had always done the yo-yo diets, the ups, the downs, and it just all seemed to lead to the same place. And I just ended up heavier in the end. So that's when I decided it was time to reach out to my doctor. So uh, it was scary. I was totally scared. Um, I didn't know what to expect. You know, you always feel like when you go in there, you're, you're being judged, you know, based on what you look like, you know, that maybe they don't understand because they're not in the same circumstances or, you know, have the same weight problems that you do. So I called and I just decided that I needed to do something about my weight. I had to change. So ultimately I decided I was going to get bariatric weight loss surgery and actually I'm getting the bypass gastric um, weight loss surgery. Um, for the last six months I've been on their their weight management program um, for insurance purposes. There were certain things I, and criteria I needed to meet before they would accept my claim so that I could get the surgery. And really just, I mean, to throw out there too, like I've learned this over time too, that it's really a tool. It's not gonna fix the problem. It's just a tool to help me get to where I would need to be for my health. So, so yeah, basically, for the last six months, um, you know, I started at 466. Um, <clears throat> I, about a, a couple days ago, was at 417. I just started the pre-op diet, so there's a couple different phases of the surgery um, and the prep and recovery for it. So I'm currently on the pre-op diet, which is basically a diet, um, based on a thousand cal under eating under a thousand calories in the day and uh under 50 carbohydrates so and keeping the low sugar so i really thought it would be so much harder because like you just if you're like me you just love food like food's awesome like everything tastes good you know you don't want to deprive yourself you really want to eat that cupcake and, uh, you know, as I've gone through this journey, it's gotten less and less. And I don't know if it's just because my determination this time and that I want to make this happen or if it's just kind of having the support because, I mean, going through this plan, you know, you have a dietitian uh, that you're talking to monthly. You've got check-ins with the weight management program to make sure you're on target. And they're also really great about... Um, you know, if you have medical issues, I know like the the gentleman that I have, I, I'm getting my surgery done through Scripps. And the, the gentleman that I have that is doing, you know, the weight management part, he also handles diabetes. And unfortunately, since I've been heavy, I've recently been diagnosed with diabetes, probably in the last year or so. Um, and he actually, is a specialist in diabetes, which is great because now he's taken that on and helped me to get that more under control as well. So um, I just had a great experience, just a great experience so far. <laughs> I haven't had the surgery. I haven't gone through, you know, the what is going to be like after because I hear it's super hard, but it's super rewarding too. 
So, um, so yeah, so I'm on the pre-op diet. I have to be on this diet for a total of 13 days. I started on Monday, so I've got a few more days to go. And then the day before my surgery, which is the 22nd, it's all clear liquids. So it's a clear liquid diet that I have to be on for that day. And then the 23rd is my surgery. So um, I just look forward to, you know, bringing you all through this journey with me because if I can inspire somebody else the way I've been inspired, I just, I feel like I have to share my story. You know, I think it's, good for me and hopefully it's good for somebody else out there that's struggling with the same things that I'm going through. You know, it has not all been easy. Please don't take this video as, oh gosh, it's easy. You know, she doesn't know, like it, she's obviously, it's super easy. It's not. I, I have definitely over the six months had ups and downs and I've hit plateaus where I was just feeling defeated. But I think ultimately I'm just, like I said, in that place where it was time and I have to make